Hello, hackers. Welcome to Pwn College. I'm Jan. In this video, we'll talk about Base64. All your Base64 are belong to us, but what does that mean? Uh, you remember hex encoding, right? You have some data and you can represent it as hex. We played around with it on the terminal. You can uh, write that hex down on a piece of paper, send it around. And that, that's really cool because uh, every hex digit is printable. It's easy to think about and so on. Here is a, an example terminal session where um, we echo out hackers and lead speak. This was actually the um, binary example that we were working with the whole time um, in the videos. Uh, you echo that to a file, uh, including the new line that's nine bytes, you hex dump it. And here, here's the hex. The hex is, you know, 684037C33C335224 and a zero A for the new line. And, and that's what we've been hex encoding this whole time. But look, you started out with nine bytes. And you ended up with how many hex digits? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 hex digits. And if you write that down to a file or whatnot, each of those digits is going to be an ASCII byte. right? And your hex encoding has doubled the size of your data to make everything nice and printable. Of course, as we uh, talked about, uh, not every ASCII character is printable. Some of them are represented by raw binary code and will wreak havoc on your terminal. But all hex is nice and printable and you can type it in and everything at the cost of doubling the size of your data. So can we do better? Hex is base 16. Zero through F are the digits, are the, the, the possible values of each digit. And each digit thus represents four bits. With the eight bit bytes, that means you need two digits per byte, ratio of two to one, your data doubles in size. What about base 32, <laughs> the next power of two, right? Uh, values from zero to V, if you were to display them in the same way you display hex, each digit is five bits, two to the power of, fifth, of five is 32 to the fifth power, that means for Every eight base 32 digits, which is eight times five, 40 bits divided by eight, that is five bytes of data, ratio of eight to five, smaller inflation than hex, but still fairly high. And thus we reach base 64. It's the next byte, uh, the next um, power of two up, two to the sixth is 64. We can, uh, we almost have enough letters and numbers to uh, uh, write out enough values of, of, of a digit so that there's 64 possible values. We have to use two special characters, typically plus and forward slash are used for this. Um, and uh, base 64 with its two to the power of six uh, uh, possible values per digit can encode six bits in every digit. That means that every four digits, which is 24 bits, equals three bytes for a ratio of four digits necessary to express every three bytes of binary data. That's much better than hex in terms of density. And it still allows you to write all of that down or type it in um, or send it across any channel that can't take arbitrary binary data. Can we go higher? We can't easily go higher. We remember uh, standard ASCII only defines 128 uh, uh, characters, things from zero to seven F in hex inclusive. The problem is many of th that would be enough on the face of things, but many of those are not actually printable. They include things like a new line character. They include things like um, uh, the bell character and, and, and et cetera, which, which you can't just write down. They're control characters. They make your terminal do stuff, not show stuff. And thus, we don't have 128 standard ASCII letters to play with, and base 128 is not a thing. Base 64 is the best we've got. Let's look at an example. 
let's start with our binary data that we are so used to. This is hackers in LeetSpeak encoded in ASCII and binary. So we start with the bytes. It's eight bytes. One, two, three, four. Yep, eight bytes, uh, which is 64 bits. We start with that. So how do we encode this? We take this chain of bits and we rearrange or we change the boundaries to go from eight bit boundaries to base 64's six bit boundaries. We resplit this example into six bit chunks. Then we make an observation that as expected, for every three bytes on the eight bit boundary, in the six bit boundary, we have a matching boundary every four six bit chunks. We take each of these six bit chunks and we encode it the same as we do with hex. There's just a mapping where zero is capital A and, 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 and you know, over here, 26 ended up being uh, lowercase a and so on. We make a mapping for each six byte chunk or six bit chunk, but we have a problem. And our problem is the last chunk because we have 64 bits, the last chunk is not six bits long. 64 divided by six uh, has a remainder of four. So the last chunk is four bits long and not six. What do we do here? Well, what we do here is assume the last two bits are zero and signify that so we encode it as if the last two bits are zero, but we signify that the last two bits are zero by putting an equal for each, or the last two bits are actually missing by putting an equal for each missing bit. And that's critical so that when we base 64 decoded, we know that after we convert Q to six bits that represent Q, we chop off the last two. Um, this, uh, is how we encode base64. Of course, to decode base64, we do exactly this in reverse. We start with all the letters, and then for every letter, we translate it to the appropriate binary mapping, and then we recombine that into bytes, and we're good to go. Base64 has the same uh, ability to encode arbitrary binary data into something that made up of letters, numbers, and easy to deal with characters, but it's smaller than hex significantly. So why don't we use it always instead of hex? Well, the problem is that online, unlike hex, base64 is much harder to read, reason about, and split up. In hex, every two digits is one byte. In base64, that's not the case at all. Every four digits is three bytes, very hard to deal with, uh, to reason about rather very hard to understand that you can, you know, here's the value of this byte because it is somehow smeared across multiple base 64 digits. So base 64 isn't really a human, uh, reasoning encoding. It's not encoding made for humans to reason about unlike hex, which is a representation that, that, that really is very well tailored for human reasoning about binary data, but base 64 is used a lot to uh, represent binary data in protocols, formats, and places where binary data can't go. Um, you'll see it a lot later in your Pwn College journey. For now, you'll practice to get familiarity with it. Good luck.